Hey guys, welcome back. I forgot to film an intro. Here's me and Kamani sharing some kisses for some treats. Anyways, today's video is baby steps. Um, remember last time I just kind of put my foot in the syrup and shook my foot to get her used to it and then bounced it a little bit. This is me going to be taking one step further and kind of jumping up and down on the stool and holding myself there for a minute or two. I don't get halfway on just because you'll see in the video she gets a little nervous so I don't want to push it and make it a scary situation or a bad situation. So I want to build her and my confidence. So we're going to start off by desensitizing. I'm going to right here I'm actually laying on both sides and tapping both stirrups. She's a little unsure but her leg is still cocked. Rubbing her butt, spanking her butt, jumping up and down and making noise. Excuse the dog in the background. Tapping all over the stirrups and then I'm going to flex her wrap my rein around the saddle horn and i'm going to do what we did the last time start off with that just kind of push and pull my foot out push down and pull my foot out lean on her and this looks weird but i'm bouncing to a high pressure to the saddle <laughs> sorry for that i love how her legs cocked so i'm going to pull her in i'm going to wrap that rein around the saddle horn in case things go south i can pull myself up and still have her head in so you can see here i'm bouncing so when i'm bouncing right there I kind of held myself in a little higher and a little bit longer and she got uncomfortable and moved so I just let her move away and come back and do it again. The reason I didn't get halfway on, if she's uncomfortable with that then she's going to be uncomfortable with me being halfway on and that can cause a wreck. A wreck, excuse me. So I'm going to bounce and then I'm going to release. I'm going to tap all over the saddle, make noise, be loud. Put my foot in. So here I'm pushing down again. Just because she was showing a little bit that she was uncomfortable a few minutes ago. So I just want to go back and show her the things that she knows. And then we're going to try the bouncing again. And you can see with the bouncing, I'm able to hold myself up there for a little bit and then drop back down. So I'm going to release and love her on that. Okay, and I'll take that, you know. Got to start off somewhere. Could I hold myself up there and get on? Oh, yeah. I definitely could, but it might cause a wreck and it would tear down and it would tear down mine and her confidence. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side, same thing. Tap on both sides at once, love all over her, lean and put pressure on the saddle by bouncing. Again, this looks so weird. I like how she's kind of not even paying attention. She's like, mm, okay, I know what we're gonna do. So pull her head around. Again, same thing. Apply pressure release, apply pressure, release. Now I did cut out a lot. Once she kind of figured out what I was doing, she did not want to be near that block. So I just kept pushing her back over and if she kept going off, I just kept pushing her back over. That's how I fixed that. So again, I'm going to bounce here and see right there when I kind of held myself up, she got worried. So I go back and just kind of do the basics again with her without holding onto her head. Now you see in a minute ago, she had her head into me. That's because I had the head, her head wrapped around, her rein wrapped around the saddle horn. So if I were to punish her for having her head there on top of me like she did a minute ago that wouldn't have been right because she had her head dallied around so i just undid the dally sorry for my speech guys so again i'm gonna bounce here i'm gonna rub her all over tap her all over make sure she's good i'm sorry if my voiceovers are always the best guys i try so again here i'm gonna apply some pressure and then I'm gonna bounce and you see each time I can control how long I hold myself up and how long I don't so I want to end on her good side and my good side and you can see here I'm able to hold myself up a little bit longer and actually pull my leg completely off 